Hey auntie! Hey aunties! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I've missed you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna do this look for you guys because you begged for it. <laughs> on my instagram i hadn't done it initially but i have it for you now Sorry. although i used different products to achieve this look than the first time the mm, the results aren't exactly the same but it's it's good enough it's it it will pass okay it will pass so yeah this is what i have for you and i hope you do subscribe to my channel if you're into natural hair content styling and all that extra stuff then let me know and in one of my next coming up videos i have a surprise for one of you subscribed viewers so if you are not subscribed to me i implore you i beg you okay <laughs> i would advise you to subscribe if you want to learn more about your natural hair and join me on my journey too because i'm still learning like i'm still learning how to do twists i really don't i don't have it down packed but yeah, so let's learn together. So enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell, baby. Click on the bell so that obviously you're the first person to know that I've dropped a video, okay? So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is re-wet my hair because it kind of dried. I just came from washing it and it kind of dried. So um, that's a big no-no. And if I want like my twists to be really really defined, I need my hair to be soaking wet. Nothing else, just plain water um, to moisturize it. Because now when your hair is moisturized, it stretches a lot more and a lot better. Okay. For my leave-in, I'm going to use this leave-in by Naughty. Naughty Intensive Care Leave-In Conditioner. Okay this stuff is for frizzy and damaged hair and it's infused with shea butter and argan oil i'm not going to use a lot probably this much this stuff is bloody moisturizing like freaking awesome it's very 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 moisturizing so that much is going to be enough for me i'm going to use is the maui moisture curl quench coconut oil curl smoothie for thick curly so this is a very thick 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 product okay it's a very thick um very amazing as well uh it really moisturizes my hair although you guys should know by now i'm not really a fan of coconut oil but this stuff mm, 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 mm. this is some good stuff okay so as you can see for a thick product it actually absorbs pretty well i have um low porosity hair and Usually products will just sit on top of my hair, but this time it's just absorbed. So yeah, so now I'm not gonna detangle. I've detangled from my wash day. Um, if you haven't watched the wash day that I just did, please click the link over here. I think it's over here. Click that link and you'll see my wash day. And now this is the styling part. So I don't need to use a comb again. The first thing I did was make a part down the middle and then I also made a U part right in the center in the front. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna make a part by my ear from my ear to where the U part is. This is gonna be its own section. And then from the back, I'm gonna do a flat twist going upwards. I'm going to start doing a flat twist going upwards, just taking some hair on my right hand and rotating it and going up all the way and then I pin it down and then in the front side section I just do a flat roll twist and then pin down that bad boy too. <laughs> I'm gonna make a confession, don't judge me. I really suck at twists. I'm really bad at doing twist outs, that's why you hardly ever see me do them. But I don't know how this time around it came out really dope. I was very surprised. I'm gonna apply some gel. So this is a gel that I'm gonna use. I've used this before. This is ORS Curls Unleashed Jelly. So I'm gonna get a good amount and just apply a very good liberal. I'm gonna make sure to put like quite a lot on my ends because 
I'm trying to keep the hair as defined as possible. What I do with my twists is I pull them down and start twisting and then my fingers work like they twist this one twists inside this one also twists inside that way the twists lock onto themselves and then when i get to the end i just curl it like this okay so this is what we be looking like so my hair is still obviously very damp and i did put on a lot of product but they're really shiny mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. girlfriend and i will unravel after a few days and i'll be back i'll be back so i'm gonna put on my satin bonnet and go to sleep good morning good morning good morning morning Woo! okay so <laughs> it's the next day well not the next day it's two days later and i'm going to and rebel. First thing you want to do is grab some oil. I have this African Pride Olive Miracle. This is like some really good cheap stuff if you are if you're a cheapy cheapy like me. So I'm just gonna put some oil onto my fingertips, onto the parts that I'm going to be unraveling, which is the front part. Okay, so this is the part that's going to really make or break your hair in terms of the curls because of how you unravel. So do take your time, really, really take your time. So what I want to do is pull here and then at the base it starts to open up and then that's where I'm going to unravel. Just really taking my time and then twirl so that it's still intact. I'm not going to undo these too much because they are thin and I still want them to have the curls still. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Oh, it's really fluffy and very, very moisturized. So I'm just going to get my afro pick and start picking at the roots. And lifting up give it some shape don't want to pick it from the bottom because it's gonna be sticking up like this <laughs> it's seriously gonna be sticking up like that so just do the sides mainly and in the center going down get some bobby pins with a little bit of structure okay so now I'm just gonna brush up the sides just to make it a little bit neater. It's not every single video that we need to do our edges, you know. Sometimes we just leave the edges to do their own thing. <laughs> do your own thing. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you learned something. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it this far. I appreciate you. You know I do do and i will see you in my next one but don't forget before you go don't forget to subscribe if it doesn't say subscribe in gray that means you're not subscribed to me so do the right thing and subscribe to my channel click on the bell so that every time i drop a video you know i've dropped a video and i'm gonna leave the next video right here a previous video you can just catch up if you haven't watched it already and i will see you all in my next video bye